So we are back with another script in Blender to create an animation like this, where we present the winners and the runners-up for any competition or any data series. Here we are showing the list of winners in the Football World Cups across various years. This is completely automated, and the scripts are available for our members. The download links are given below. If you used our scripts earlier, know that you have to first prepare the data in an Excel file. Here in the series column, we have listed the World Cup years. Then we have entered the country names for the top three positions, so there are three names here for each of the years. Then we have the display picture for each of the positions, and remember that you need to enter the complete path for your picture files, including their extensions. Now go to the Save As menu, and we have to save this as a CSV file. So from this drop-down list, select the Comma Delimited CSV option and save the file. You can ignore any warning like this, and then go to the folder where you saved it. You need to keep these four files within this folder, You'll get these three files directly in the downloaded package, but you need to prepare your data in this Excel file or a CSV file in a given format. And then within a folder called Pictures, you need to keep all the image files as we see for this example. Once you are ready with this setup, open this blend file that comes with the package you downloaded. The script is already added into this file, and it contains all required elements. First, switch over to the text editor from here. You'll see two different versions of the script, one for Excel file and another for CSV file. The Excel version works directly with your Excel file, but it will need you to install two additional Python packages, so it might be a little difficult. If you are new to this, I suggest you to convert your Excel into a CSV file, and then use the CSV version. It's simple and easy to do. Now, in this script, you need to enter the location and the name of your CSV file, and also the other files that came with the package. It's better to keep everything within a single folder. Then these column numbers can remain the same if you use the same template. But you can customize these factors like the animation start frame or the camera start frame, or these factors to control the animation in some other fields. And here you can change the overall speed of the animation to make it go a little faster or slower as you wish. No need to change anything else, so once it's ready, you can execute it from here. It will take some time, and you'll see that several new objects are created by the script. It means the script has run successfully. Let's go back to the viewport and verify if everything looks perfect or not. The script will set up camera motion and the materials as well. So let's turn on the rendered view mode. We see that the objects are created perfectly. Now you can render this scene to get a video like this. We recommend you to use cycles for a better output, but you can use EV as well. We are sharing this script for our members for this month. You can also join our membership by clicking on the join button below. You can also use this script for a different type of data as well. Like in our second example, we have used Hollywood, Bollywood, and other movie industries across the world. And we have entered the top three actors in each of these rows or each of these industries. And we have the picture files here as usual, but this time we are using portraits instead of the landscape pictures we used earlier. So we have to make a change in our script to use the portrait size, and this is where we can customize it. We have to use two instead of one for portrait, and we'll also change this next option to two, so that we get an emission shader that looks better for portrait. You can see the meaning of these options here and their possible values and customize them as needed. Once you finalize everything, run the script and wait a while for this to complete. Then let's go back to the viewport and remember that we can also customize the scene after the script is executed. Like we can change the color of these materials or assign another material or we can change the background or the lighting as well. So here is the output after the change, but don't look at the names here, it is just an example. We have published many such scripts in the past for data comparison videos. If you want to get all of them, you can check our 3D data visualizer add-on, which is even more powerful than these scripts, and soon we'll also add this new script into our add-on. So I hope you like this tutorial, thanks for watching, and don't forget to join our channel.